Red Titans. Airline in trouble. There's no marks for guessing which airline and who is in charge. The crew. It's an interesting film built around what happens to members in the crew, their temptations, their failures, when they are part of a crumbling empire. Which airline crumpled with red as its color? Of course, the Kingfisher. It's obvious because even their owner is Vijaya Valia, played by Shaswata Chatterjee. But to the story. The film starts with uh, the flight about to take off and three of its crew members named Geeta Sethi, played by Tabu, Jasmine, Karina Kapoor and Divya Rana, Kriti Sanan, are taken away by the police, Sub-Inspector Mala, Tripti Kahamkar, on charges of in the air, in the high air, carry gold. Why are they smuggling gold? Are they smugglers? Story takes us back to all three of them being middle class families. <coughs> While Gita dreamt to being a beauty queen and was one in one back town, had to end up in the middle class and had to keep the fires of the family burning with her with dreams that someday she will start a hotel in Goa with her husband Arun Sethi, paid by Kapil Sharma. Then we have Jasmine, who has no compunctions. She wants to make life happy. She have wanted to be a CEO, but ends up being an air hostess. And then we have Kruti Sanan as Divya Rana, who tells her family, again, middle class, that she is a pilot, while well, actually she is a member of the crew. The three accidentally find out that a regular traveler in the flight who swoons and dies is carrying huge quantities of gold biscuits. From here, the drama begins. The three get sucked into the vortex under the tutelage of Mittal Manoj, played by Rajesh Sharma, who is the kingpin of the smuggling. Do they get caught? How do they save themselves? While uh, Diljit Dosaj comes in as the inspector, Kohinil Airlines is in the red. What happens? This is the interesting film made by Rajesh A. Krishna. It's a fun film. No pretense. But it's a little about woman empowerment. I like the way there's nothing apologetic about Tabu, Karina and Kriti. Kriti is coming of age as an actor. And uh, also, very interestingly, there's a very subtle scene of woman empowerment when, Kriti, when uh, Karina performs the last uh, rites of her grandfather, played by Kulbushan Karbanda. So, there are subtleties. There are no... Uh, platitudes about being grey in life. I like that too. And the screen chemistry is unbelievable. Tabu, as that very hesitant middle class person who's not sure whether she's entitled to be enjoying life. Karina is the, I couldn't care a damn about anybody, yet she's willing to be play a kleptomania sometimes. And Kriti with her attitude. Amazing screen chemistry among the three of them. Their three performances are reason enough to see the short 123 minute film. Rajesh Krishna could have tidied his act a little more. But this is a fun film. You don't have to analyze it beyond a point. One of those movies you just go have fun, have your popcorn, have your coke, say good evening and go back. That's the kind of film the crew is. It's a nice crew. It's a helpful crew. It's a crew that's not very stiff upper lip. Go for it if you're in the pool. And 
in given the kind of films we have these days, I think crews worth the while. Thank you, Abhinav and Datu. Acknowledgements to both of you and the listeners, viewers. Please come back to me with your comments on how you like my reviews, whether you would like me to change my format. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Not that we need to agree, but I'd like to know why you disagree. So long. Bye-bye.